Did you know your job is at risk? So here it goes. I do my own orders. I put up away my own products. Do I really need you? The volume incentives that you guys receive comes from my orders. Wouldn't it be great if you were involved in that process and you could even make more money? Let me show you how. The thing that really uh, drives us crazy is when you guys come in with those scanners and you just want to scan those barcodes. When you come in, come in greeting us first rather than being so caught up in your paperwork and check the box mentality. One of the things that I recommend that you do is rather than ask for something, why don't you give something to us? Um, build that trust in the form of I'm here to help you run your business, not the other way around. And I think over time, when you do ask for those displays or, or any of those kind of things, it becomes second nature. So always start out your meetings is how can I help you? We rely on you guys to bring us information so that we can make a better decision on what items we can sell and kind of share with us what the competition is doing. We all know, you know, Pepsi, Gatorade, all that sells. But what we're looking for more is what flavor profiles fit our locations. Um, with the limited space that we have in our vaults, it's almost key that every slot in our vault produces the highest return. 7-Eleven has built a multi-million dollar, uh, we call it retailer information system. Um, it's our backroom computer system, which basically gives information on every SKU in our store, literally by the hour, what is selling. All this information is available to you, as well as to us, and it just starts by simply asking us. Um, some of the tools we have are the ABC reports. Um, we have this thing called uh, the Merchandise and Information Packet, which is the MIP packet that comes out every week when a new item is introduced, and it gives us a lot of information on that product, um, demographics, price, cost. New products coming out, you gotta get it. And I'm, I'm always like, wait a minute, you know, why do I have to get it? Um, no, my boss tells me I need 100% distribution. Well, that necessarily doesn't go well with the franchisee. As salesmen, I just want you guys to realize that the first thing usually comes out of our mouths is no. No does not necessarily mean give up. Um, it's just something that we are just accustomed to doing. Eventually that no turns into yes, and that is all built on trust. You need to come in and tell us why this is good for me. Share some critical information with us. TV spots, billboards. One thing that really excites franchisees is um, money. So a product that makes a lot of money is gonna make it to our shelves. Not every product is suited for every store. Um, currently we're standing in a very Caucasian area. So Hispanic type products, maybe fruity products don't do as well as maybe a, a diet product or a zero product. Um, and I think you as salespeople need to understand that and, and bring that information to us. And it's always difficult to find space for these products. And it's always easy to say, well, why don't you get rid of a Coke product? Or why don't you get rid of a 7-Up product? But in all reality, the relationship is built that if you come forth, and if there is a product that maybe isn't selling that happens to be in your portfolio, be upfront about it. I think that builds trust, that builds relationship, um, and that maximizes our uh, ability. And vice versa, if there is a product that isn't selling that might be from a competitor, let's look at it, let's talk about it, and let's go ahead and make space for that product. The best report to find out which items to delete is the ABC report. It's readily available on our ISP, it's very easy to access, and it's quite friendly to look at, and it basically ranks all the items from top to bottom as top sellers to bottom sellers. Every, every visit is different. Um, one of the things I suggest is that you guys have so many products, great products in our vaults, that you almost want to break it down by visits. The first visit we talk about soda business, then we talk about the isotonic and water business, and then maybe on another visit we talk more about the teas and coffee business. So I think mixing it up makes it interesting, fun, and really keeps the business fresh. <laughs>